The flag lives on. Big Ten divisions will reportedly stay in place for the 2023 football season. Now is a great time to subscribe to the channel. Big Ten content every single day. Always crush that like button. According to the athletic Scott Docterman, 2023, you're going to still see East and you're still going to see West. 2024 might be something different. Let's dive into the details. There was strong consideration to revamp from geographic divisions to single conference entity for 2023, but there were just too many issues to implement for next season to get into that single conference entity. Among the most discussed issues for Big Ten administrators and school officials include the desire to unveil one new system when UCLA and USC joined the conference in 2024 instead of consecutive years with new systems. Um, protected games television were also concerned. Speaking of television, we know to, we're going to see some kind of new partners in 2023, but 2024 with the addition of the Trojans and the Bruins, that's when really things kick in with CBS, with NBC, and all the television partners and all the new things uh, coming down the pike. So that's really 2024 is when that kicks in. So it really makes sense to plan ahead um, for that year and not have to constantly be changing because if you got to change it this year, you got to come up with a whole new schedule, got to work with all your television partners. It just makes sense to do it in 2024, be able to plan ahead for that year and keep things the status quo in 2023. Let's talk about divisions. I thought for a good amount of time that divisions were a good thing. I thought it protected rivalries. It gave certain teams a measure of success. Because you look at teams like Northwestern, even Wisconsin, Purdue, you look at those types of teams, it helps them measure success more instead of just being buried 6th through ninth or 10th in the Big Ten Conference every year and you just don't know where you're going other than your record, other than head-to-head. -head. It gave those other teams a different measure of success. But we all know the Big Ten Championship game is a revenue monster and they want to increase the eyeballs on that revenue monster. And to do that, it makes sense to go to a one entity when we get to 2024. Michigan against Ohio State rematch. We're going to see it eventually if we go to a one conference model. It's just a matter of time. And I think it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be fun. I think that's going to be a lot of fun to see that Michigan, Penn State, Ohio State, Penn State. We could see some really fun matches at the top. I think the point of the Big Ten championship game is to determine who's the best team in the Big Ten, regardless of geography. I personally thought, hey, like I said before, I thought divisions were good at the time, you know, when they started all the way back with the SEC, kind of in the early to mid-90s, and now going through here. But, uh, but now that the NCAA says you don't need divisions anymore, look, I, I think it's in the best interest of the Big Ten Conference to go with divisionless football um, from here on out. Yes, you might have to beat Ohio State twice. You might have to beat Penn State twice. You know, hey, if they lose, they might be able to get a second chance. But the point is, right, if we're talking about the Big Ten Conference as a whole and what's best for the Big Ten, we want the best team from the Big Ten Conference. We want the most eyeballs on the Big Ten Championship game. And I think the way to do that is to go with divisionless football going forward. What would a divisionless Big Ten look like? Lucky for you, you got your boy, Big Ten Ted, to figure it out for you. There is a link in the description of this video, something I put together, a 16-team, divisionless, Big Ten scheduling model. Here's some of the highlights. I would go to a 10-game conference schedule. Each team would have five protected teams, which means they would play five of the same opponents every single year. And then you got 10 teams left. You'd play five of them one year, five of them the next year. So you'd kind of alternate uh, back and forth. What does this mean? It means every two years, every Big Ten team will play every other Big Ten team. What does it mean every four years? If you play football at Wisconsin, you will host every single Big Ten team at Camp Randall Stadium every four years. So if I'm a recruit coming in to Madison to play for Jim Leonard or whoever the coach is, um, th I'm going to play every single Big Ten team at Camp Randall Stadium. And heck, I probably go out to California um, a couple of times as well. What this does, I think it expands the importance 
of some of these games. It keeps these rivalries. I think when you go to a divisionless format, I think a big concern for people is those protected games, is those rivalries. That's why five protected games is very important. Every single trophy game is protected in the Big Ten Conference. It gets played every single year, which probably can't even be said right now. I mean, you get games like the game that was just played. You know, Penn State and Minnesota, that's a trophy game. That would get played every year. So I think this would be good for the Big Ten. And, of course, going to a larger a 10-game conference schedule I think would be beneficial with teams like a USC and a UCLA coming into an already strong conference in the Big Ten Conference. I think just playing more games strengthens your strengths of schedule, allow more teams to get in to that potential 12-team college football playoff. Well, it's not potential. It's going to happen. Maybe a potential 16 college football playoff. So more Big Ten teams get into that postseason. It's better for the Big Ten. More games. Everybody wins. All is good and happy Big Ten land. I want to hear what you guys think. Do you like divisions? Would you rather see it go to a single conference format? I want to hear all your thoughts on that. Make sure you comment below. Subscribe to Big Ten Ted. I'm Big Ten Ted, and we'll see you in the next one.